Hi there, welcome back to Jen's Little Place. Um, today I'm going to do something quite a bit different than anything that I normally do on my channel. Um, because I'm participating in something. Um, it's not really a collaboration, it's just more of a project. It's called Christmas in July. And it is a project where you can make cards for either the army um, that are stationed overseas or um, the children at the St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And you can choose to do either thing. I do not have every bit of the information at the time I'm filming this video, but when I upload it, I will have, and I will link it all below. I think this is a very fitting um, project to participate in. And you can choose to do both or either or as far as where you're going to send your cards. I'm going to do mine for the Army because my son is in the Army. Now, he is stationed stateside, but I, I just I have a soft spot for them because I, you know, my son is in the Army and my husband is a veteran. So, um, that is who I'm sending them to. But you can choose to do either or both. And there are prize packages going to, or a prize package. I'm not sure. Like I said, I don't know all of the details at this time. But I will. And uh, they will be available for whoever sends these. Because you're not going to put them in a separate envelope. So, you will provide a separate envelope for each of your cards. You don't actually put them in them. You're going to put them in a larger envelope and send them to um, the address that I'll have linked below. Now, I made several cards so far, and I was basically trying to come up with something that was um, simple enough that I could do several. And I think the... Um, the card that I came up with that I'm going to show you how I did it is um, this one. And um, I may or may not use the light at the top. I may use just the, the, round, uh, the round ball. You'll see what I mean. But this stamp set is one from uh, May May Helms. Um, I will link her Etsy store below because I believe she has this... Uh, G's Teddy Bear Lane stamp set available again and it is um, super cute. It has the teddy bear that you can add the top hat and the scarf and the Santa hat and then it has what I'm going to use today and that is the sign with all of these little sayings in it that you can choose from and I've done several different ones. Um, but that is the stamp set I'm going to use and that's the stamp set we're going to work with. And also just a red A2 size card. And then I have used the Lawn Fawn Stitched Rectangle Small Size. I have cut it out with my cuddle bug already. I have prepared that and it fits perfectly onto the A2 size card. So let's get started on our card. And I'm going to just pull this off of there. So I think I'm going to, just to make the video shorter because it takes a moment longer to replace the, this top with that. And it looks just as cute either way, I think. Um, I'm going to just use it as it is. And I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to ink this up. And then I will stamp it onto that stitched rectangle. I love this stamp set. It is so cute. And I cannot believe I just did that. I totally messed that up. So I'm going to flip it over. I am going to flip it over and do the stamp in the bottom corner. And it did nicely. And... I am going to use the Lawn Fawn Celery Stick dye, um, dye ink for the sentiment in the middle. And I think this time let's do Jingle All The Way. I don't even think I've used that during all these cards that I'm making. 
so let's do that. I'm going to ink it up with the green, and I haven't done that yet either, so we'll give that a try and see how it looks. I think this is a really pretty green. I think I'm going to stamp it off, though, um, because I've not used the stamp before, I don't think. And sometimes when these acrylic stamps are new, it's better if you just kind of stamp them off and get them seasoned, I guess is the right word. So I'm going to do that. And I'm sorry if this is so amateur, but I'm not used to doing tutorials really. So just know that I'm doing my best here. Okay, jingle all the way. That looks good. I like it. Okay, so now I'm going to put my inks away because I won't need those again for a while. And for the candy cane pole, I'm going to use colored pencils. And then I will use Gamsol. And once again, these colored pencils I just got at Hobby Lobby. So I don't even know if I'll be able to find those to link them. But they are Sargent Art pencils. So, I'm going to just do a couple of different colors and um, I'm going to color this in. Now the white I will leave alone for the time being because I use a white Sakura gel pen to color those in. And um, I'm going to uh, just do that really quickly. And it will, um, it will really um, blend out nicely and um, with the Gamsole. And once again, I will link that below as well. And um, I will, um, I got that whole, the whole kit to do that with at, um, online from Tupelo Designs LLC and I will link it below because these jars are amazing because it puts the gamsole in it but it doesn't spill. It's amazing. So now I'm going to just, and I apologize for the noise in the background. Um, my husband, I guess, doesn't realize that I'm, I can hear everything that's going on. Um, he knows I'm doing a video, but I guess he doesn't realize that I can still hear everything that he's doing. So, we'll just have to ignore that a little bit. But you can see that it blends it out. It makes it a nice, solid image. And it's not real bright. And, I, I mean, I know that the alcohol markers make a brighter image, but... They just take me longer, and I also enjoy the colored pencils, so I'm going to just, for this video, use those, and it also made it so that I could make more, and while they're, they're providing an extra um, entry into the contest giveaway for every card that you send, that's really not my motivation. It's really more just, the more cards I make, the more cards the troops get. Does that make sense? So, now, for the, um, like right there, I um, went out of the line a little bit, and I just used the Sakura gel pen, and I will also do that for um, the snow, and um, it makes it very, uh, you know, defined for white, and a little bit dimensional which the glossy accents that we put over the top also will make it dimensional. And um, I am going to color this little ball on the top yellow just because I think it gives it a little bit more, I don't know, a little more color to the, uh, the project and um, brings in a little bit more color. So, anyway, like I said, I promise you I will link more information below and um, because that's when I will um, be able to um, 
get this. I'm sorry, I'm so distracted by whatever it is he's doing. I am trying not to pay attention to it, but it's kind of distracting. And I am coloring it in the snow. And um, I've got to also color in the gray on the top and bottom there. I'm going to go get my other colored pencil. And I'm going to color in the top and the bottom. with this gray pencil just to kind of make it look like I guess more like concrete sort of and like I said I don't have to color it in like a super solid image because um, I'm going to use the gamsol to make it nice and I don't know I guess solid would be the word. And I'm just trying to make sure that that red is off of my paper, my blending stump here. Now I'm going to go in there with the gamsole and just blend that out. And Um, uh, make it a solid image. Well, the image is solid, but I, I mean the coloring solid. But I have really enjoyed this project. It makes me happy to send the troops some things. Um, my daughter-in-law also just finished her training. She's in the Army Reserves. She is stationed, um, stateside also where my son is. So, um, they're together, but so I guess we're kind of, uh, a military family. Um, so I try my best to do things to, this isn't the first time that I have sent cards to the troops, but I'm going to, uh, but it is the first time I have done it, um, in conjunction with a YouTube project. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm just gonna finish coloring in the snow here. And then all I will do is attach this. Um, actually I won't. I will do the glossy accents over the top and then I will attach it to the card. And for the inside of the card, I have been using this sentiment for all of my cards. It says, may the glory of Christ's birth bring you joy and hope at Christmas time and always. And I just think that's beautiful. So that is it. And I will actually probably do, before I do the, uh, the um, glossy accents, I do the Wink of Stella on all of the snow. Because it just kind of makes it glisten and look like real snow. So as you can see, this particular design of card is super easy, yet it's super cute. And um, I have really enjoyed doing this and I hope you all will join in. And like I said, check out the links below. I will have all the information linked below. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.